Oh, Trump's is not a British <laughs> yeah, No, no, it's not, is it? Uh, time for Finn's <laughs> country. This week, Roger meets a photographer with a passion for large predatory insects. Do you know in Norway, they're actually called eye pokers, which right. I think is a brilliant name, but they're not always easy to find here unless you know where to look. And one of the best places in the country to go hunting is along the banks of Crockford Stream in the New Forest near East Boulder. Here's Roger. This is Doug Overton, and today we're going to indulge his lifelong passion for catching dragons on camera. Here in the New Forest is apparently one of the best places in England to see dragonflies and damselflies, and we're about to go and see what we can find. This is the mecca for dragonfly hunters. Quite a lot of diversity here in terms of species. Doug grew up in the New Forest. He works as a telecoms consultant, but during the summer, he's most often found hunting dragonflies. One day I was out in the forest and I photographed a dragonfly, just happened to be there perched. And it was a, an absolutely wonderful, inspiring photograph. And from that point on, I thought, right, that's the species for me. As we approach the water, we should start seeing some signs of life. And there is a beautiful demoiselle, oh, you see, just on the... Yes on the opposite bank. So that's the male, which has the, the vivid metallic blue coloration. They look great when they catch the sun. How long do they live? Two to three months. And then... Stay very still. The sort of moment wildlife spotters dream of. Where's he gone? What is it? Well, I think it's very out of place here, but it's a hairy dragonfly. Never seen it in the New Forest. It's posing very nicely. It is, yeah. I'm quite astounded to see this, really am. So if you were a bird twitcher, this would be the equivalent of a major discovery, a major find? Yeah. We've just seen a, a golden eagle, or, or whatever the equivalent is in bird watching terms. Crockford Stream attracts dragonfly enthusiasts from around the country. There are 40 varieties of dragonfly in Britain. You can spot over half of them here. This is the golden ring dragonfly. Personally, I believe this is the most spectacular of dragonflies in the New Forest. They're quite predatory. They'll, they'll pick very large insects out of the air. What sort of insects would he be eating? Smaller damselflies, wasps. Wasps? Yeah, I've got photographs of them eating wasps. What are your basic tips for, for getting good photographs of dragonflies? One technique I use, I, I call the perch technique. Some species will return to a favorite perch. If you then bed down, get your camera ready and focus on the area where you last saw them, and wait, invariably they'll come back and they'll perch again and that will give you your opportunity to take a photograph. That's a, a male broad-bodied chaser. Quite an aggressive species. When you come to approach a body of water and you'll see a lot of aerial combat going on between dragonflies, there's usually one of these at the heart of it. Damselflies, like this large red, are more delicate than dragonflies, about the size of a matchstick. This is a southern damselfly, a very rare species in the UK. Crockford Stream is one of the few places you can come and see this particular species. Dragonflies spend most of their lives underwater as larvae. After anything between one to four years, they hatch out and spend a brief summer on the wing, mating and then laying their eggs. Plenty more pictures and information on Doug's website, newforestdragonflies.com. We're back next week. Until then, may you always taste success when you set off to capture a dragon. And to capture those fabulous pictures, because they were stunning pictures of were. moving dragons.